Hey gents, just yesterday we were given the news that the latest smart luggage company has seen its demise, that is Raiden, and in addition to that, Blue Smart is another casualty of the tightening around airline restrictions for luggage and smart luggage. There's one company that continues to chug along, that is Away. They seem to be getting stronger as our competition falls by the wayside, and I think there's some learnings that you can take away from this, and I want to do that today. Wednesday, I like to take a step back and look at these companies at a higher level, and I'm gonna talk about the smart luggage industry and how Away has succeeded where Raiden and Blue Smart have uh, faltered. Regardless of anything I say, I feel very bad that anybody has lost their jobs with the company's closing. As Scott Galloway describes himself, he's a full-throated capitalist. I put myself in that same camp. Competition's great for us consumers, but it really sucks when anybody loses their jobs, especially when uh, the founders put themselves all into this venture. So I just want to put that out there first. For the past few months on my to-do list, I've had a comparison between Raiden and Away because usually when people were looking at smart luggage, there was Blue Smart, Argo, I think Ramoa was doing something, RS Sky. So there's all these smart luggage categories, but Raiden and Away were the two biggest. Now, Away is the largest in the space from what I understand. Both of them were smart luggage with technical features, but Away seemed to have the secret sauce that Raiden didn't when it came to the overall marketing. We're now living in a world where people have grown up and been inspired by Apple's design language and marketing, and people that grew up and built companies in the 80s and 90s that can now take the learnings from modern day Apple and apply that. And I think that's exactly what you're seeing with Away. That's not to say that Raiden wasn't doing great marketing. Raiden had beautiful imagery, beautiful marketing. But to me, the difference was always more um, like Raiden was like the Alienware or Linux. They were much more technical about their design and the way that they talked about their product than Away. Away was a lot more about the lifestyle, the photography. And when I introduced a few friends, so any of the products I recommend on the channel, I recommend my friends in real life. And when I've recommended this to a few of my coworkers, workers who also travel a lot, they've become obsessed with Away as a company just because it's an aspirational type thing. A lot of that comes down to the co-founders of Away, Jen and Stephanie. They were formerly worked at Warby Parker, so they were already in this hot DTC space and they were able to learn from the things, not just from Warby Parker, but then also that Apple design language and the whole kind of lifestyle marketing that comes into this play. I'll put a link to the article about Raiden shutting down, but one of the things that was mentioned is that it becomes difficult to build a sustainable company on luggage because people only buy luggage once every 10 years. If a, if a good bag lasts a lifetime, then it becomes tough to have these repeat customers. And that's definitely what Raiden ran into. Where Away is succeeding in this is expanding their product line, doing collaboration. So this is the Away with the Minions collaboration. They just did a Star Wars one, which looks incredible. And so Away is turning this more into fashion, which is what you saw Warby Parker do. You know, before Warby Parker, I think people got glasses every five years because it was very expensive. But in addition to that, Away is not standing still and they're expanding their product line very aggressively. They have packing cubes you can buy from them. They have a weekender bag. So they're trying to build more of a lifestyle and a travel brand, which Raiden I think could have done that. And that's the difference that you saw. Raiden raised $5 million and Away has raised over $30 million. So Away has a lot more infrastructure to build out teams and to build out products. I mean, Away has a podcast that I've listened to. They have a magazine. They've done these pop-up stores. Having that extra capital, infrastructure, and team has allowed Away Way to outpace the airline regulations. So both Raiden and Away in their initial designs, you were able to take the battery out. So it's built in, uh, you get a USB port over here and you're able to take the battery out, which allows you to comply with the airlines. It becomes a little bit of a pain. Both of them you had to open it up, but Away has re-engineered their product. And you can see this in any of my newer videos where you can actually pop the battery out with this toaster mechanism design, which makes it really easy to justify this as a great way to get a portable battery, but to have it built in and easily accessible is fantastic. And they've also, this is their um, kit in order to convert the old away carry-ons into the ejectable version so that it is even easier to comply with the airlines. Now, Raiden had more features. They had GPS, they had a scale, uh, they had the, the battery built in, and you paid slightly more. I always was of the opinion that the more you were paying for the additional features weren't as good as what you were getting with the away luggage, but otherwise they're both incredibly built luggage and they are offered them at great prices. So it would be the type of bag that you would get um, at a, not, not quite a Nordstrom, you weren't getting Tumi quality bags, but the prices were half of that. So it was somewhere in the middle of Tumi quality, but you were getting incredible prices on each of the bags. And so uh, that was kind of my takeaway from the shutdown yesterday. I would love to talk to the founder and CEO of, uh, of Raiden if he'd like to come on and do any sort of live stream, talk about that, maybe have him 
uh, on my podcast as a fan of smart luggage within this category and just seeing the different approaches by companies within the same space. Uh, you know, direct to consumer is very hot right now and I'm go I cover most all of those companies online. And so as always, love to hear your comments, questions, opinions down below in the comments. You can also reach out at the underscore Cavalier on Twitter and Instagram. Love to hear from you guys over there. Back to my regularly scheduled programming of reviews, everything else, this is a Mizzen and Main shirt. That performance review is coming. It's just, uh, I wish I had more time to give to you guys and, and build this out. So thank you for watching as always. Until next time, gents, this is the Cavalier. Am I even in focus? Oh. Nope. Mm.